All right, good afternoon traders. Today is June 12th, 2024. My name is John Carrigan. I moderate the BYOB trading room. This is the BYOB market wrap up. Let's take a look at some charts today. Okay, start out with daily chart of SPY. All right, so here's daily chart of SPY in um, right here in our Andrews Pitchfork. You see it's coming up there to the top if you put it on the hourly you can see it pretty much touches right there okay on the hourly chart all right so let's go back to the daily all right so that is a new all-time high for SPY that is uh, in a daily uptrend all right and then we'll take a look at the two hour and on the two hour what do we have still got a two hour uptrend on the 10 minute pretty sure we got a 10 minute downtrend and uh don't know if we're going to close the day with a 10 minute downtrend uh but right now it's currently in a downtrend coming back to the base here and there's vwap up there all right so we'll take a look at this again tomorrow morning so we had a pullback to this is the all-time high anchored vwap right there and you can see price action came into there, bounced up, challenged the high, couldn't make a new high, came back down to the all-time new high, anchored VWAP right there, challenged that, couldn't get below it, so now we're back up here. So probably gonna consolidate in through here all day tomorrow. Good chance we do that, unless of course they rip a new high. We'll see what they wanna do, this is SPY. Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ on the daily chart, new all time, brand new all time high right there. QQQ uh, in an uptrend over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. QQQ in an uptrend. FNGU brand new two year all time, brand new two year high right there. Higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap over the 17 EMA. FNGU in an uptrend. IWM. All right, here's IWM needed to take out. Pretty sure they had to take out this high right here. And they did take out this high. So that puts them. That puts them in an uptrend, all right, because we took out this high right here. Came down, we made a low, we made a low, came back, made a lower high, and then we took out that high. So IWM kind of in a flaky uptrend. Uh, they're not closing up here, they're closing under here. But uh, today's price action, higher high, higher low, closing over a bullish cross. And over the 17 EMA, IWM now in an uptrend. Diamond Dow. Diamond Dow needed to take out this high right here. And let's see how close they got to that. Now, they didn't quite make it yet. All right, higher low, higher high, closing over uh, a bearish, a bullish cross or a, bull a bullish consolidation because it's a bull flag right here. Um, and closing uh, underneath, excuse me, closing underneath a bearish cross or bearish consolidation and underneath the 17 EMA. So Diamond Dow getting hooked by this 20 SMA there on Diamond Dow. So Diamond Dow still in a downtrend. Take a look at our technicals. T2122, we... Um, we opened up in the buy zone and then the bears pushed us out all day long. So they pushed us out of the buy zone. They pushed us out of the, the buyer's chop zone and they pushed us off the midpoint down into the seller's chop zone. And you can see now we're trying to climb our way back into the buyer's chop zone right there. T2123. 
Uh, started out green and then just melted all day. Okay, started out green. We didn't even fill the gap from the previous day. So here's the gap from the previous day. We did fill today's gap, which was right in there. So you can see we filled that, but we did not we didn't even fill the previous day's gap. Okay, so IWM still weak, and here we are again back at the midpoint. Okay, on T2123, still caught underneath this falling 200 SMA on the 15 minute chart. So small caps and mid caps having a, a tough go at it. Can't get this thing turned around. Um, and I gotta say, we're still underneath a downtrend. All right, so there's T2123, T2123 three bar. You can see right here, three more red candles, you know, on the 17 EMA. Uh, gap up and then right back uh, to the midpoint. So it looking like they want to. This is the rubber band candle right there. They break through that and um, doesn't look good for SPY. But let me just say this. Uh, in, in spite of all these stocks selling off, uh, the nine stocks on the FNGU have been carrying the SPY and the QQQ to brand new all-time highs. Okay, so those nine in the FNGU have been carrying the whole load ever since, probably mid-May. You can see right here, here's the 20th of May. We've been selling off since probably the 22nd of May, and now we're in the 12th of June, and there's still no green, see there's no green balls there, so there's no sign of uh, bullish activity since the 22nd of May. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we are melting through a rising 200 SMA right into the midpoint. Um, like to see us bounce back up and get up over it. Doesn't look like it's happening, but that's T2123. Um, still having a tough go. Still can't get it in gear even with today's bullish price action. FNGU. And this is the one that carried the market today. It was a gap up. It was a gap and go. So you can see they went up and they just stayed over VWAP and bullied all day long uh, until probably right there, 3.30. And then we can see we have a, um, a little bit of a sell off into VWAP right through here. Okay, so what I wanna see is See, this is the prior consolidation, and we came back and we consolidated some more. All right, I want to see three days of FNGU up over this 380.25 number. That's resistance. I want to see this hold as support. So we got one day up there. I want to see two more. Either consolidate over here, consolidate in the green box, but I don't want to see them going below the green box. Here's the 15-minute 200 SMA kind of curling up there. Hopefully that can provide some support. Should price pull back, we might be able to get some lift from that 200 SMA <clears throat> pushing it from behind. So there's FNGU. Nice work on FNGU. That is a nice bull flag consolidation. Could see more price action to the upside tomorrow. We'll see what happens. That's FNGU. <coughs> Now let's go back and take a look at a few, uh, let's take a look at the energy sector. We'll start with USO. USO is in a downtrend till it takes out this high. Made a higher low and a higher high, closing over the bullish trap over the flat 17 EMA. So a USO trying to fight off the downtrend. All right, UNG still in an uptrend. Now did they make a new all-time high or a new high? Not quite, all right, but today's price action looks like almost like an inside day. So the low for, the low for yesterday, 2058, the low for today, 2053. Lower high, lower low, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA. UNG in an uptrend, USO in a downtrend. Silver and gold were both in downtrends. Silver and gold still in downtrends. Silver price action for today, higher high, higher low, closing 
<coughs> excuse me, inside the bearish trap underneath the 17 EMA. Silver still in a downtrend. Okay, let's take a look at GLD. GLD still in a downtrend. Higher low, higher high. Closing inside the bearish trap, but underneath the 17 EMA. So gold still in a downtrend here. Silver and gold, downtrend. USO, downtrend. UNG is in an uptrend, okay? IWM now converted to an uptrend today, all right? SPY, QQQ, FNGU. Well, SPY and QQQ made new all-time highs. FNGU made new two-year high. Let's take a look at SMH. SMH makes a brand new all-time high on SMH. That's our semiconductor ETF. Let's take a look at XLK. XLK is our technology ETF. They usually go hand in hand, uh, SMH and XLK. Okay, XLK, higher low, higher high, closing. That's a brand new all-time high. Don't even have to get into it, okay? New all-time high for XLK and SMH. All right, let's take a look at IYT. Uh, be, be prepared to get disappointed. All right, so IYT, still in a downtrend. All right? Still in a downtrend till it takes out this high. It's got to get over this all-time high right there, anchored VWAP, and then take out the high up there, okay? Ever since this all-time high anchored VWAP got started, you can see it's been very difficult for IYT to close a single day above it. They got one close here, and you can see it was bearish engulfing the following day. Okay, so IYT still in a downtrend till it takes out this high right there at 66.87. But good looking price action today, breaking the downtrend or spiking the downtrend. Okay, so higher low, higher high, closing over a bullish trap and over a flat 17 EMA. So maybe IYT can fight this off, get back up above and start the uptrend again. So there's IYT. Let's take a look at XLF. All right, XLF. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, still in an uptrend? No, still in a downtrend because they, they broke this low. See this low? They broke this low. Puts them in a downtrend. They almost had an uptrend, but then they lost it in two days. See that? They broke out over this high, made a new high. They were in an uptrend, and then within two days, they lost it back into a downtrend. So XLF, still in a downtrend. Price action today, pitiful for XLF with everything else moving up. It just goes to show you the power of the FNGU, okay? Because you see, FNGU is about the only thing that's bullish, all right? You look at the uh, T2123, moving down. T2123.15, moving down. T2122, moving down. The only thing that's working is the nine stocks, and I'm saying nine, there's really 10 in there, but Snowflake hasn't participated in, I don't know, three years, four years. They could participate in this in this decade. That would be nice, all right. But they haven't seemed to found um, any legs, you know, to get walk to get walk to start walking yet. They're still crawling. So there's FNGU. That's the only thing that's been hooking the market up with these new highs. Okay. So here we are again. Financials in a downtrend. Lower high, lower low. Just pitiful. Just pitiful. Uh, higher low, higher high. Excuse me. Higher low, higher high. Closing below the bearish trap, below the 17 EMA. So you got, out of the three major sectors we need for a robust rally, okay, which is the SMH, okay, it's the semiconductors, all right? Semiconductors are making new all-time highs. Now, XLF is not making new all-time lows, but it's not been in an uptrend when we needed it, all right? So XLF, still in a downtrend. Transports, same deal going on there. Transports still in a downtrend. So out of the three amigos or the Trinity there, okay, we still got uh, two of them in a downtrend. And then not to mention small caps and mid caps, IWM has just had a tough time since the middle of May. You can see right there, 
uh, has just been melting lower, all right? Today's price action is fantastic. We got a higher high, but notice they couldn't hold it, all right? So maybe they come back, hook up a lower, a higher low, and then loop up and J-hook off of that. We'll see what happens, but small caps and mid caps just can't get it done. There's the all-time high or the recent high anchored VWAP right there. You can see here's the price action coming up into it. Can't even close the day over that uh, recent high anchored VWAP. Just having a really tough time. Here's uh, not the all-time high, but that's uh, probably the high for this year. And that was April 1st? No. Uh, March 28th right there. Okay. All-time high way up here, 244.46. You can see we're a ways away from it. We're within striking distance if they get it in gear. All right. Now we got a weaker dollar. It's possible things start getting better. But then again, weaker dollar, you know, kind of contributes to inflation. So we'll see what happens. We don't want, I mean, we, we want, we need some inflation, but we don't want it so bad that it hurts the consumer that they can't get out there and spend or they can't buy um, different kinds of things like, um, how do I say it? I'm looking for a word. Don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but um, it's things that you don't need, okay? Consumer staples, those are things you need. Uh, I guess you call it discretionary spending, all right? When you go out buy gifts or, you know, jewelry, things that you don't need, okay? All right, that would get the market going when people have the money to buy stuff that they don't need. All right, so there's IWM, all right? See? Just having a tough time. A lot of whippy price action there. See that? That could indicate... Something like that could indicate a breakout. I've seen this before. And usually what happens is one of these. See all of that? So maybe that's what's in store. But that's the monthly. All right? That's the monthly. This is 2022. <clears throat> and this monthly's just gotten wild. So maybe maybe something big is cooking in here. We'll see what happens. All right. I'm going to go back to the daily so you can get a clear view. Take that off. Hit the daily. See, now the daily, you can't see that, that whippy price action like you can in the monthly. All right. So, so back to IWM, that... Uh, March high was a, well, you can see it was a two-year high. All right, see right there? That's the last time we were there, 2022. So that March high was a two-year high. Okay, FNGU, was that a three-year high or a two-year high? FNGU, that is a, well, it's kind of like a two-and-a-half-year high right here. See that? It's almost a two and a half year high right there. All right, so that's what we got. We got trouble in the transports and troubles in the financials. Financials should have been able to put it together today. And you can see here they couldn't. We did have something help us out, okay? It was Mr. Dollar. Now look at Mr. Dollar came all the way down and I thought it was gonna close down here. And you can see here's the retracement, okay? We did not want it to bounce off the 200 SMA. We wanted it to embrace the 200 SMA and get underneath it, okay? But we didn't get that. We got a bounce off of it, not good. Dollar, even though I set it on my green sheet, five plus five, is in an uptrend, not a downtrend, okay? If they break these lows right here, that's 103, 98, 96, okay? If they break those lows, they'll be back in a downtrend right now because they broke those highs. They just started an uptrend about three days ago. See that? That's today's candle, yesterday's candle. So earlier this week, just when we thought we were in the clear, got a nice downtrend in the U.S. dollar index spot. Uh, and then, then lo and behold, here it is. Um, on the 10th of June, which was, let's see what kind of day that was, on a Monday, okay, they turn around and made an uptrend out of the U.S. dollar index. 
And even with that dollar making an uptrend right there, technically, the market still went off and spun new all-time highs. So how about that? I mean, that's FNGU. That's uh, So you can see that's all FNGU did, all that, all by itself, pretty much. All right? Because it didn't get any help from the dollar. It didn't get any help from small caps and mid caps. Uh, it did get help from technology and semiconductors. But that's it. That's the only thing that was helping it out. All right? So there you go. All right, traders. That's it for me. I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful evening. Hope you all made some money today with this gap up. There wasn't much to trade um, because we had... Uh, it wasn't really a gap and go. It only started getting going uh, in the 10 minute right there. Uh, I, I had the uh, pre-market up. I said once it gets over 542.05, that was a buy. I bought into it and you can see it rallied up to 544, took my profits into the 544 number. And then uh, from there, I just let it, it just melted all day. Right up underneath VWAP, came back to all time high anchored VWAP right there spiked just above it all right so it kind of just spiked this area climbed back up checked out the highs one more time couldn't fail to make a new high and then came all the way back and this time it slammed through and spiked it this time they couldn't spike it this time they did and you can see it's starting to consolidate right here okay so there's the Andrews Pitchfork, and I'm going to show you that. And that's the top time of the Andrews Pitchfork, and price action got up into there. I was expecting price to pull back to this midpoint. All right, traders, that's it for me. I'll see you all at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I sold Bear Call Credit Spreads into this starting at 550, well, actually 548, all the way up to 550. Um, and we'll see if they have any continuation on this big candle today me i think it's the end of the move there and i think a pull back to the base maybe consolidate on top of this base and then do it again we'll see what happens all right so I'll see you guys tomorrow at eight o'clock everybody have a wonderful evening thanks marley thanks thanks robert thanks stefan alan alexander steve judy everybody that participated today thank you